Travis and Connie reside in Atlanta, Georgia, with their two young sons. Travis pursued studies in microbiology at Oklahoma State University and intensive brewing science at the University of California, Davis. Armed with his brewing expertise and qualifications, he co-founded the Scofflaw Brewing Company, a craft ale production business. Travis's rugged bearded appearance suited his role as a brewmaster and brewery owner perfectly. His long, black, bushy beard and casual, functional attire epitomized the backwoodsman aesthetic. However, his head hair mirrored the unkempt style of his facial hair, having been subjected to years of uniform buzz cuts, rendering it thick and unruly. While Travis embraced his scruffy look, his wife, Connie, held a different opinion. By September 2016, the issue of Travis's beard had become a point of contention in their relationship. Travis confessed, my wife thinks my beard is a little bit unruly noting that the maintenance of his facial hair was a particular source of annoyance for her. He elaborated, you have to brush the beard to keep it looking somewhat right, and you end up leaving a little trail of hair everywhere. It drives her insane to see it in the sink. In a clandestine effort to address Connie's concerns, Travis sought the assistance of a makeover team from The Rachel Ray Show. Led by personal groomer Kyan Douglas, the makeover segment of the show aimed to transform Travis's appearance from shabby to chic. Under the guidance of style professionals, Tragus underwent a radical personal rebranding, from his head hair down to his choice of footwear. The result was a complete transformation, leaving him virtually unrecognizable. Renowned stylist and television personality Kyan Douglas gained prominence as the grooming expert on the popular TV show Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. The show provided guidance on various aspects of culture, fashion, food and wine, personal style, and interior design aimed at individuals seeking refinement. Now part of the Rachel Ray show, Douglas has orchestrated over 400 makeovers. However, the impending transformation of Travis in the dead of a September night posed a unique challenge. Douglas remarked, we have never done anything like this. At four o'clock AM on a morning, Douglas and his makeover team arrived at the Herman household. The covered operation was designed to keep the entire process hidden from Connie by executing it while she slept. Accompanying the stylist and his team were camera operators and sound technicians poised to document the unfolding events. From the initial makeover to the dramatic reveal, the mobile TV production unit captured every moment for broadcast on the Rachel Ray show at a later date. Upon their arrival, Travis greeted Douglas and the crew, ushering them into his home with quiet enthusiasm. Meanwhile, Connie and the children slumbered upstairs, unaware of the transformation transpiring just beneath them. Once she awoke, however, Connie would see her husband in an entirely new light. The makeover commenced with Douglas introducing Patricia, a master barber, who provided insights and suggestions for the initial cuts. Before proceeding, Douglas conferred with Travis about the planned changes. So Patricia and I have been talking about your look a little bit, he explained. The stylist observed, it looks to me like you just use a buzzer or a shaver on your head. Travis confirmed this as fact. Douglas then continued, stating, I know Connie wants to probably see the beard go. It's been a long time since you've been clean shaven. I want to take the beard off completely. The brewing expert seemed to heartily concur, saying with enthusiasm, let's do it. Thus commenced the formidable task of transforming Trada's appearance from her suit and scruffy to handsome and polished. They began by addressing the hair atop his head. Patricia, the master barber, approached the task differently than Travis typically did for himself aiming to tame the tuftiness and untidiness. Douglas explained, what we can do to really update his haircut is to give him a fade, so going from longer to shorter just creates a lot of structure. And we'll just use some product to finesse it a little bit, give it some texture. Next on the agenda was the beard, the primary focus of this makeover and the source of Connie's frustration. With meticulous precision, Patricia sheared away the substantial facial hair with an electric shaver, unveiling Travis' face to daylight for the first time in years. As the barber buzzed off half of the beard, Douglas inquired, Can you feel a difference right now? Travis replied, looking pensive, heavier on one side than the other. As the tufts of hair accumulated around Travis' feet, his once ubiquitous beard swiftly vanished. This is pretty awesome, Travis conceded when Patricia completed the shaving process. This new, groomed appearance not only liberated the brewer's face from fuzz, but also revealed more of his features previously concealed beneath the thick beard. However, Douglas wasn't finished with Travis just yet. To complement the craft beer creator's refined new look, the stylist aimed to outfit him in smarter clothing. 
With a suitcase full of garments at the ready, Douglas provided Travis with options to complete his transformation once the grooming process concluded. Douglas elaborated on his sartorial choices to the brewery operator, emphasizing the importance of essential, timeless pieces in a man's wardrobe. In my view, he began, one of the cornerstone items every man should have is a pair of high-quality dark jeans. They're versatile because of their dark hue and lack of fading. Gesturing to a sturdy pair of boots, he continued, and then there's the necessity of a reliable set of dark boots. Displaying a lightweight denim shirt, Douglas explained its utility, saying, this shirt is so light that it's suitable for almost any season. The dark on dark aesthetic creates a subtle slimming effect. Once Travis was outfitted in his new attire, the moment arrived to reveal his transformation to his wife, Connie. Though she was still upstairs resting, Douglas sensed she'd soon be awake, urging Travis to send her a good morning message to kickstart the excitement. They prepared for Connie's imminent appearance. Everything's set, she'll be down any moment now, Travis announced with a gleam in his eye as the makeover crew and cameras poised for Connie's entrance. Emerging from upstairs with her son in her arms, Connie's expression immediately shifted to one of sheer delight. Oh my goodness, what a surprise, she exclaimed, rushing down the stairs to embrace her husband. I thought you were off to play poker, she added, overcome with joy at Travis's stunning transformation. Connie's delight in her husband's clean-shaven appearance was unmistakable. Speaking to the camera, she reminisced, that's the face I fell in love with years ago. It's refreshing to see it again without the beard. Expressing her ongoing surprise at his smooth face, she gushed, I'm still adjusting. But I really, really like it. I love it. During their appearance on The Rachel Ray Show, the host turned to Connie for her thoughts. Overwhelmed with emotion, she confessed, I might cry right now. He looks amazing. I've missed seeing this face for so long, so I'm thrilled it's back. Thank you, Cayenne. Rachel Ray chimed in with a playful remark. You two met when you were like 16, right? He couldn't even grow a beard back then. Curious about Travis' opinion on his new appearance, Ray asked, You're happy with how you look, though. Travis responded, Definitely. It takes a bit more upkeep than the beard, but I like it. However, it seemed the brewery operator had a fondness for his facial hair, as evidenced by Connie in 2017, showcasing Travis with even more beard growth.